What we're going to do is show you how to get a list of files with metadata using the SFTP task. So the first thing that you want to do is to configure this is you just want to choose the get list of files with metadata for the what will this task do. Next what you're going to do is either set up your connection manager or just choose one that you have available already. Then what we're going to do is choose a directory location on the server. So this is the directory on the server that you want to grab that file the, that file list from and grab the metadata for it. So in this case we're just going to leave it alone because we have it set up to task factory but if you need to choose a different one you can come in click the ellipsis here and if you have a bunch of directories that you can choose from you can do that but I'm just going to leave mine as task factory. If you want it to read the root just leave this empty. Finally what you can do as well is you can actually have the file filter and the file filter works by using a like statement or a like operator which you can go on to uh, MSDN and see how the like operator works and it's just a, it's a pretty simple pattern in, in this case I'm not going to use one but if you wanted to just grab all of the XML files you can do star.xml or all the zip files star.zip on and on. Finally what you're going to do is you're going to select a result variable. What this does is it sets an object variable to the data table that we're going to set. So internally what we're doing is we're taking the, the metadata and we're setting up a data table. And we're going to assign that data table to the object variable. Now in this case I have one already but if you needed to create a new one you can click create and you just leave it as object and you're good to go. Uh, let me select that again. All right. And so, like I said earlier, we set it to a data table, and the data table structure is set up like this. If you set up your for each loop by setting up a for each ADO enumerator and then using the source variable as the files list, the variable mappings can be done by this, or the, the data table is set up like this. The first index of the data table is the file name. The second index of the data table is the modified date, and the third is the file size. So you're able to retrieve that data uh, from the data table or from the ADO enumerator and set those values to variables and you can see that's what I'm doing right here and then you can do whatever you want to with the data at that point if you're going to write them out you're going to download them you're going to write it to an XML sheet however you want to use it at that point you can use it and you can see right here all I'm doing is just taking that data and downloading a single file now obviously we have the download uh, directory to uh, to do this but as an example I'm showing you how I, I've set it up here and so that's really it that's how easy it is to set up the SFTP task to get the list of files with metadata